Wow, it's so flat. I'm checking to see if there's seaweed, but it doesn't look like it. There's a guy fishing down there. I'm gonna ask him what the sea seaweed situation's like. So I just checked the beach. It hasn't rained in a few days, so the water is nice and clear looking. It's flat, there's no seaweed. If you watched my last video last week, Tyler and I, we had major seaweed problems, but it's looking so beautiful out there. I think the pompano are probably going to be running hard today. The only problem is I don't have any bait. I didn't see any sand fleas. So what I'm gonna do is I have some gulp baits and I'm gonna cut them into little pieces. I've heard you can use them to catch pompano. So let's put some fish on the dinner plate today. Pompano, they love clear water. And today it's clear water out there. Quick update about me looking at houses in Key Largo. I found a couple that I really like that are about $3,500 a month in rent. Two bedroom, two full baths. If you want to move to Key Largo and burn a few thousand gallons of gas with me, maybe we can work something out because 2019 is going to be a crazy year for fishing. So let's get on it boys and girls. Looks like the tide already came up a bit since I was last here. Here's the gulp baits I was talking about. I heard that if you cut these things up into pieces, you can use them on a pompano rig to catch pompano. As I was looking through my freezer, I found some frozen squid. So I'm gonna use the squid first. I may later try to use cut up gulp. So let's cut up this squid and I'll show you what it looks like on the pompano rig. So essentially a pompano rig consists of two or three hooks. Sometimes they have a float, sometimes they just have a bead. And they're these kind of funny shaped hooks. And then I'm using a pretty big weight. I think this is a four ounce, but you can get away with a two or three ounce most days if it's not too wavy. So let's flick it on out there. You flicking this guy in the surf. I'm not getting any hits on the on this DOA cow. So what I'm gonna do is put a pompano rig on my uh, on my toadfish rod with a Battle 3000 pen reel, great reel. I know some of you guys are probably dying to know if you can really use gulp baits to catch pompano. So I went ahead and cut a, a gulp bait up and I put it on this pompano rig. I cut the gulp pieces kind of in the same size that a, a sand flea would be. And these kind of look like sand fleas. So I'll have that here on my toadfish rod and yeah. The horizon is just full of spinner sharks. So I called up Tyler Peters. He's actually in my phone as Tyler the Shark Slayer because catching sharks is his thing. Hopefully he'll show up here in the next hour or so and maybe we'll catch a shark if he uh, decides to make his way down here. I didn't bring any rigs to catch sharks, unfortunately. Yeah. So are those any good for anything? Um, shark bait. Oh, so just use them for bait? Yeah, we'll use them for some shark fishing. There's a whole bunch of sharks out here right now. Well, I just hit up Tyler and I told him I got some shark bait for him. Maybe we'll catch a shark today. Well, it didn't take but a few scoops and I got myself uh, some live sand fleas. So I'm gonna take off the gulp baits and then use sand fleas instead. 
I just want to catch fish right now or else I would totally keep fishing this gold bait. That is looking delicious. Flick that out there. Yeah, there's Um, you know, just some small stuff, nothing to, uh, hey dog, what up? Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> Show me the rig you're using. We got about three and a half feet of steel, big circle hook. On a sliding, I got like probably 12 feet of a uh, 100 pound high vis mono. It's a yeah. shock leader. FG knot, it's a 50 pound braid. Boom, baby! Let's get that shark. Look at him go. This line's dragging in the water a bit. Yo! Dun 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 dun! Finally some action! Double hookup dog, double hookup! Is that a pompano? A baby pompano! Baby pompano, look at him! Look at these guys! Uh, these these ba are baby pompano! This is like a perfect Vero Beach beach fishing day. There's a big, there's a full moon out there. Still no shark bites though. Oh, oh nice, nice, you got that one. Woo! I'm gonna, all right. Woo! Home run! Let it eat it, man! <laughs> was that was that a real hit on there? Yes, it was a real hit. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it that time. That was definitely a fish. So there was just a pelican flying over my house, and I saw a bunch of crap come out of its mouth. Look at this. One, two, three, some plastic. I guess it ate that thinking it was a fish. There's another one. Another one. <laughs> it was just flying right over my house and chucked all this up. I am driving to Fort Pierce right now to meet my buddy Chris and we're gonna take his flats boat out. I'll be stopping at a bait shop in Fort Pierce and pick up a couple dozen shrimp and maybe some little hooks for the shrimp and uh, we'll go on from there. Hopefully we can catch some sheep's head today. For the live shrimp, all I have is that bucket right there. I don't have an aerator. Since I don't have a bubbler, I, they sold me one of these oxygen tablets, so we'll put that in there. It's making some bubbles for the shrimp. I also bought some of these weighted hooks here. It's looking a little windy out there.
Yeah, but the long termers, they uh, rip your heart out. Today, we're going fishing with Mr. Ico Winkler back here. You! Hopefully, <laughs> we go ahead and catch some uh, nice sheep's head. Look at all these mullet. Holy crap, yeah, yeah. All right, here's the rig I'm using. Just a weighted hook to a loop knot. And then I, this is 30 pound mono, about two and a half feet. And then going straight to braid. All right, let's see if I can get him. I'm gonna put it right in front of his face. Dang, dude, that, I think this snook's gone. I don't know where he went. He's ready to catch some fishies. All right, I got a big boy shrimp. Here we go. Well, a puffer fish ate my shrimp. You're doing a great job, Captain. I'm just enjoying the ride, that's all. Cheeks are so clenched right now. Yeah, dang it. Get in there. Oh yeah. Dude, that's the money shot. Dude, I, yes. Go. I got something. Come on. Who is that? Snapper. Oh no, it let go. Oh. No, 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 no. That was a keeper mangrove snapper. I know. I thought he was why did he how did he was just hanging onto the shrimp. I got excited. I was like, finally a turning point in the day. Get him. Break the ice, Chris. Whack! Nice. You're on. Yeah. What is that? Oh, pull him up. The catfish. Ah, dude, no, we could go and catch some grouper. All right, give him freedom. Hey, remember when it stuck you? Yeah, that hurt. Oh, it's not cool. We are free. Oh, I'm getting tippity tapped. Yes! Your drag's pretty loose. <laughs> Did it come off? Oh, no, reel that sucker in, dude. Come on, make a... Oh, well, what is that? The grunt? That's a little grunt. Away he goes. Away he goes. No, 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 no. I had a fish, dude. I had one. Got off. <laughs> dude, it must be small, whatever it is. It's just chewing up my shirt. Do I want to fish the mangroves or the pipe? What do I want to do? What do you got there? Is it a tough bite? Or... Nice! What is that? Massive rockfish, dude. <laughs> dude, that might be the biggest rock I've ever caught. Hands down. Oh! <laughs> you almost fell in the hole. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Yeah. You see it? What is it? Oh, puffer fish, I think. Dang it. Well, well, well. Oh. Off he goes. Oh, dude, did you see that? Uh -huh. Oh, oh my God, it, it actually cut my line. Look, it split open my, uh, just cut it right off. Could have been a trout. Could have been a trout. Damn it. Make sure you do the stingray. Oh. Sh sh uh. 
I almost fell into the live well. Do the stingray shuffle. Do the do the stingray shuffle. Do the do the do the do the sting. Was that a fish? Flounder. What was that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh! Is that a big old? No, he's still on. It's Barracuda! Yeah, he's too small. Hey, so Chris. <laughs> here, I'll have him swim towards you. No, get the fuck out of here, bro. No, I'm serious. Go towards Chris, Barracuda. He's coming to you, dude. He's coming to you. He's gonna thrash you, Heiko. He's gonna thrash and bash. Here you go. Keep him away from me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Alright, he's off. Pretty colors, too. That barracuda is probably what ate my. broke me off the first time. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, boy. Okay, okay. Let's see what it is. Jack. It's a jack. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh no! He didn't get hooked. Yay! It's hoping that Snook was still here. Well, Chris left his keys in my car and I drove almost a third of the way home, but now I'm coming back. Doing this for you, Chris. I threw in the flag and I'm I'm at Sonic. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Sonic baby. Oh, I'm checking the beach right now. Let's see if it's fishable. Holy macaroni. You would do this to me, Mother Nature. Look at all that seaweed. There's just seaweed everywhere. I wanna catch a fish so bad, I'm editing my footage and I'm like, come on, Heiko, you gotta think of something. Tomorrow's my last day here before I fly to Lisbon. I have a lot of work to get done, so I can't, I won't have time to fish tomorrow. I haven't even packed yet. That cloud up there looks like a whale. Kind of, right? I've been watching these two guys here on, on behind me. And they just keep on reeling in the seaweed. Mm -hmm. Well, I just had some sushi since apparently I can't catch a fish and I'm in this rental car here. I, so uh, it's actually pretty nice, but I'm driving to Lisbon, going to Miami airport early tomorrow and then flying to Lisbon for a week to meet up with my brother for a business convention. Right now, I'm taking a quick drive to go look at my boat and kind of ponder about what I want to do in terms of getting back down to the to to the keys because that's where I know how to fish and I just miss the keys really bad. Well, just being on my boat made me so happy. I was getting so sad. I was thinking about calling my ex-girlfriend. I was just sad. But being back on my boat made me realize I need to be on my boat. I need to be in clear blue water. I need to be in the Keys, baby! I'm gonna work the hardest I've ever worked in my life it, while I'm in Lisbon. When I get back, my main goal is getting my Arsh back to the Keys, getting my fishing channel in order, making awesome content, just working harder and uh, just accomplishing as many things as I can in the upcoming years. This was supposed to be kind of a secret, but um, 
I know I said in my last video my boat was for sale, but I was also thinking, you know, having two boats isn't that big of a deal. I, maybe I should, maybe I'll, I love that boat. That boat's so special to me and it's actually a beautifully cut hull. It slices through waves like butter. So maybe instead of selling it, I'm just gonna sea deck the whole thing and slap a new uh, Suzuki or Yamaha on that sucker. Here's the sexy Range Rover, supercharged, and my rental car. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Lisbon. Well, I know that this episode probably wasn't the most exciting episode, but um, thank you for watching and definitely subscribe to my channel because I promise you I'm going to put out some epic fishing footage in the uh, upcoming months in 2019 should be really awesome. So thanks for watching and cheers from the South Florida Fishing Channel. Bye guys.